What's up guys, it's Nick Dyer, back at you with another video. Some of you guys may know that Mr. Beast just launched his new restaurant, 300 restaurants across the US. So we got the Beast Burger. We got Chicken Tender Burger. And we got the Chris Style Burger. Um, we didn't get the Carl burger or the Chandler burger. The Carl sounds like a grilled cheese <laughs> Because like, we're actually like, we're trying to eat, you know? Hey. I'm hungry. Anyway, so, we're gonna do a taste test. We're gonna be as brutally honest as possible. Before we even cut into it, let's talk about the presentation. Like, I don't like the way this bun is like, like okay. sad. It looks good, but like, it looks no nothing sad. like, I mean, obviously for uh, all like, restaurants, they wanna make it look good on the menu, so. Yeah. It yeah. looks decent, I'm, but I'm, like, yeah. Mildly disappointed, but it looks like it will taste good. The Chris one looks good. The Chris yeah, one looks the yeah. best. I think this one has the best best presentation. Yeah. It's like perfectly even. I don't know. Okay, so I think. Um, get into it? Okay, so we're gonna cut into it into thirds, thirds? or what? Yeah, third. Thirds. So two cuts. Okay, uh, so we're doing it like, uh, like so a pizza from, or okay. Cut from the middle. So make it into like a pie. Thirds. He's just right. saying. We're gonna start off <laughs> with this. We're gonna be as brutally honest. Uh, I'm not trying to turn it into a food channel, but. I might have to. Nick Dari is evolving. I might have to. Okay. First bite. Um, so we purposely... I just wish there was more sauce. Like, it feels dry. I actually really like it. Same. Alright. Okay. <laughs> 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 All that one can know. Maybe my thing has. Do you guys have a like, good sauce? Mm. Not really, but. Mm -hmm. Damn. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be this good, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, personally, so far, I prefer the Travis Scott burger, but that's just my humble opinion. <laughs> I am impressed. I don't think. And you would be able to make a burger this good, or a sandwich, not really a burger, it's a chicken sandwich. But I'm impressed. I've had better. Of but course. honestly, it, it exceeded my expectations. It exceeded my expectations. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, right, here's my brutally honest. If I'm really? thinking, where am I gonna go out if, I, like, if I'm ordering, like I don't really order much, but if I'm ordering, I'm gonna say, where should I choose from? I'm not gonna really think of Beast Burger. <laughs> Like, but if I'm like, if I'm like, you know, like if it's like the last place that's open or something, I don't know. I would, I'm happy, happy, I would be happy. I disagree. I, hungry. I actually disagree. The first thought that comes to my head is Mr. Beast. Burger, so, um, <laughs> I know, but like, I wouldn't actually like get it. No, but I would always get it every single day. All right, so the, the, the okay, next uh, one. We're going to rate it through 10. Each one. All right, so my um, score. I have start with All right, you go. I'll give it like a seven. Seven? I'll give it in a six and a half. Okay. I'll give it an eight and a half. Oh. All right, so here's yeah. our average score. All right, we'll do Beast next, okay? Okay. Beast is this one? So it's a double, double, double cheeseburger with... Mustard, ketchup, pickles, onions. All right, let's do this. I like the chicken one better. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a bit underwhelming. Yeah, but it looked it looked a lot better than the chicken one, <laughs> but it tastes a lot worse. Um, again, this one exceeded my expectations. I like I like how this one had more sauce. This one had really low expectations. Yeah, I yeah. had terrible expectations. The one thing I like about the beast burger is it has more sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So I like I like how like it has more flavor. So I'm actually not sure if I like the beast burger better than the chicken tenders. But, like I didn't, when I gave it, when I said it might be worse than the chicken tenders, I didn't think about the sauce. But now that I think about the sauce, I might have to give this one a seven out of 10. I'm gonna give this a seven as well. Um, I think this is like a good option for burgers. I mean, there's obviously better ones, but. I'm gonna give this a 7.5. All right, so here is our average score for the Beast Burger. 
So here's the um, Chris burger. It basically, it's just a beast burger, but with fries. And it had bacon, but we don't, we're not eating that, so. Okay. You're right. Uh, one thing I noticed off the bat is that the, the like the, the uh, meat is like they're different. They're cooked differently. Here's the cut. Yeah. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it is cooked differently. All right, let's try this. Should we bite it? Yeah. Yeah. I was underwhelmed. No. That was the best one. I feel like, no, I, I don't think it had as much flavor as I, no. as I hoped. Uh, I just want to point this out, like, we're not adding, like, any extra things, because we want to just get straight off, like, the burger without us any modifying. So maybe I'm not going to deduct points because of the lack of sauce, because some people might not like sauce, so, like, they give you the option. No? Yeah. But this is my favorite. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half, maybe a nine, an eight and a half. No way. Yeah. I was gonna give it like a seven and a half. I was gonna give it, I thought it would be a 10, but I was a little bit underwhelmed. I would give this one an eight and a half as well, tied with uh, the chicken one, the chicken tender one. You gave it an eight and a half? No. I had a really low expectation. All right, here is the score of the final burger. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Tell us if you would rate them any differently if we had it before. Um, shout out to Mr. Beast for opening his own restaurant. Mr. Beast after seeing this video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.